Hello Power Rangers Lightning Collection fans and welcome back to Lightning Storm. The series for Lightning always strikes twice as we talk about everything that has happened in the past week for the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. And you know, sometimes after these big events we don't have a ton of news. This week kind of falls into that category, but we still have a pretty good amount of stuff to talk about here in the week that has been since Hasbro Pulse Con. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. So kind of as we've been doing recently, I'm going to go ahead and start off with this week's releases. Specifically in the US, we have kind of a new release. It's at least a new release from a new place. Uh, it has been out for about a month-ish at this point, pretty close to that as we are already about to enter into November, which is crazy. But this past week, Amazon finally started to ship out some of Versus Packs Wave 2, and specifically from that wave, the MMPR Yellow and Scorpina 2-pack. So I saw numerous different reports of people getting theirs in hand. Some people though, unfortunately, did not get their ships to them. They got theirs delayed into early December, which I'm sorry, that really sucks. I uh, don't know what happened there. They probably only got a very limited number of them. Uh, and uh, But at the time of this recording, it is up as in stock soon. So it does claim that it will be back up in stock sometime soon, so there will be a link to the Amazon page for that one in the description below, so be sure to check that out. No updates on if the Zane and TJ2 pack, the one that has now become half useless thanks to the Galaxy Glider release and Deluxe Wave 1, that pack has not seemed to ship out from Amazon yet, but uh, if you have been following Lightning Storm or this channel, uh, you would know that Versus Packs Wave 2 in its entirety have been out from Entertainment Earth for some people, for some people's orders since the beginning of the month. So if you guys would like to check out a video review of the MMPR Yellow and Scorpina 2-pack before you pick up yours, or also the TJ 2-pack as well, you can actually probably see Scorpina, Psycho Silver, and In Space Blue behind me. They're all there somewhere. Uh, but I will go ahead and put up a card somewhere here uh, for my review of Versus Packs Wave 2 since I did that a couple weeks ago. Uh, great sets, highly recommend them. So now that they're finally shipping out, uh, it's going to be great for people to finally be able to get their hands on them. Scorpina, excellent figure. And that Zane and TJ2 pack, despite the gauntlet problem you have to fix on your Psycho Silver, uh, pretty good pack. So, nice to finally see that those are shipping out here. Move on to the next release. So finally, a figure from the reveals during Hasra Pulse Fan Fest is actually out there somewhere. Never thought I'd live to see the day, especially since Target had delayed the Tyrannosaurus Entry to 2090 thanks to that error, so I thought we were going to have to wait another 78 years to see anything from FanFest, but look at that! It happened early, but <laughs> all joking aside, it's finally great to see something from FanFest actually release, uh, because if you are not privy to what got revealed at what event, FanFest had five figure reveals during it. Back on April 9th, it had the Tyrannosaurus Sentry, as well as the other four metallic armors that are waiting to release. And everything revealed before that event has been re has been released, and a good majority of the stuff from the events right after that one has been released. Uh, so it's nice to finally see the Sentry out, and it looks gorgeous. I'm super hyped for this figure. Uh, we get to see a lot of good details of it, of like how the cape can come off, how the new helmet looks on the old Mighty Morphin Red, because this one actually does have a visor trim that actually goes down the middle of it like it's supposed to, uh, but it does not have the mouth plate, like no molded lips on the mouth plate, which is accurate to the Sentry. Uh, that is how the Sentries look from the designs from the Boom Studios comics, but that is, that is that this helmet is not supposed to be a replacement helmet for your Mighty Morphin Red, but at least it has a correct visor. Uh, the kind of replacement helmet comes with the metallic red figure, which has the visor painted as well, which at least the promo shots do. We're still waiting on that figure to actually release to confirm that. Hopefully when that figure comes out, we'll actually get to see if it has it for sure. Uh, but yeah, it's just great to see the Tyrannosaurus Sentry out there. And uh, like I said, not only did it appear in Singapore, uh, from Robo Robo, I believe is the place that it released at, which is the same place that got uh, A-Squad Yellow, the first place that got them uh, back in like the middle of September. We've had over, tw we've had 20 Lightning Collection figure releases, somewhere in the ballpark of that in the last month. It's just kind of all melting together where, what came out and when, <laughs> so. Um, but yeah, that is out. And uh, it's also out in Malaysia. I don't know if that was at Justin Hunt's or not, uh, which actually, speaking of that, Justin Hunts had posted earlier last week that they were expecting the Ninja Rangers to actually be arriving in store this past week that just happened. 
but it didn't. They uh, updated that post saying that they weren't going to get them until like the January or April release date that we have them slated for here in the U.S. as well. So no Ninja Rangers yet. Uh, I don't know if we'll see those by the end of the year. They have always been 2022 releases, year four releases. Um, so I don't know if we actually will see them during this calendar year or not. I want those figures, but honestly, can we not? Can, can, we, they, can they not show up this year? Uh, we have enough to try to pay off here by the end of the year and everything that we just saw at PulseCon. Um, so it'd be good to kind of have a breather on that front. Next up, we have a quick little thing to add here in terms of upcoming Lightning Collection items, which I know is crazy because we just had a ton of stuff happen at PulseCon. Uh, but you know, maybe stores are updating things after PulseCon and maybe they posted some more listings than they should have. Uh, so two, two listings. Uh, I did tease this earlier this past week on Lightning Fig PR. I didn't outright say it, but uh, you know, people picked up what I was putting down. I put a tweet out talking about uh, how, oh, I'm gonna need a new bookshelf for all these helmets. Uh, that I'm gonna keep getting and I posted a gif of Mighty Morphin Blue. So yeah, I've seen a listing that says Blue Ranger Helmet, so I can uh, safely assume that that means a Blue Ranger Helmet will be happening in the Lightning Collection. We already know that we're gonna get a Lord Draken Helmet as well. I talked about that last month when I dropped all of my 2022 releaks and such like that. Uh, and that video had the Lord Zed Helmet as a leak in there as well, and we do know that that ended up panning out. So we should be getting Draken and the Blue Ranger. And there was another listing for a Blue Ranger roleplay weapon item, uh, which I do believe is a Lightning Collection thing. Now, I'm not as sure about this one. Uh, I do know, well, I mean, I'm, it's a legitimate listing, but I'm still not exactly sure what it is. Uh, we do know that a Red Power Sword is happening. I talked about that last month, and I've seen further evidence this past week. That's one thing I'll just real quickly say. I did see further evidence this past week of Zap Dragon Zord, Zap Megazord, but we already knew about that which is the Zord Ascension Project stuff from last week. Acronym is ZAP. Uh, so we have the ZAP Megazord, ZAP Dragon Zord. I saw another evidence of Ready Clipdoor. That's like the third piece of evidence I've seen of Ready Clipdoor. Um, Power Sword once again, and now a Blue Ranger helmet and a Blue Ranger roleplay item. So my assumption would be that those would be the Power Lance. I can't think of what else a Blue Ranger roleplay item would be, unless they did something like a Blue Ranger movie morpher uh, akin to the Pink Ranger one we just got. That is a definite possibility um so i think one direction is really cool uh because like if you have the power sword because we know we're getting that and if we did the power lance wouldn't it be insane if they did a lightning collection power blaster over the next couple of years i think that'd be crazy crazy awesome but like i don't know so that's the really awesome route this could go or it could be the morpher <laughs> so i don't know it literally it just says blue ranger role play thing the helmet was a lot more clearer and kind of harder to kind of leave up to interpretation. So yeah, I not a lot of things to talk about with that because, you know, I've only seen like one little piece of evidence for those two things. Uh, reliable though, reliable evidence because it does come from a store. Um, so that's all I'm going to say on that front. So, uh, I'll, you know, I'll update that on Lightning Storm and such if I see more about it or hear more about it. But want to make sure that I clarified that uh, if you guys didn't see the tweet, uh, which you should if you follow me on Twitter, you should, you should do that. Oh, the Zane situation. So, I'm sure you guys probably saw my Lightning Storm episode, my emergency episode that I posted following the 1027 event for the Hasbro Pulse Premium members on Wednesday night. First of all, if you were not a Premium member, and if you only cared about Power Rangers, you did not miss anything during this event that was noteworthy. We did have Simon Bennett, uh, well, we, we as in, what am I talking about? The fandom at <laughs> Simon Bennett, uh, you know, we got to see him on the live stream. Uh, for the Pulse Premium members. And so that was kind of neat. Uh, all he did was just kind of vaguely answer questions about season two of Dino Fury, which makes sense because he doesn't want to give spoilers away. They showed a little clip. I'm sure you've probably seen this meme floating around on Twitter. That's uh, where this came from. It's a screenshot from the clip that we saw. Uh, but there was nothing, nothing of any notes to talk about from 1027, except for one little lightning collection thing, just one tiny little thing is that uh, right before Power Rangers, when they had G.I. Joe on, uh, they actually got a little interview going with Tom Whalen, which you may be familiar of. He is the one who is the illustrator for the entirety of the Lightning Collection line. So all the box art you see on the front and on the sides, that's Tom. And uh, you know, we've talked about him numerous times on the show whenever he adds the full prints of his artworks to his website portfolio. And they had him on 
uh, because he's been doing some G.I. Joe work recently. But they did briefly, and I mean, I mean briefly, talk about the Lightning Collection box art. And he did say that one of his favorite box art series to do so far was the TMNT set that he did uh, for you know the two packs in Shredder that we're getting here pretty soon. I'd have to uh, agree. I mean, I didn't do any artwork, but I would have to agree that this is some of his best work. I think it looks absolutely awesome, and it's some of my favorite artworks. It's some of my favorite Lightning Collection releases. I still can't believe that those are actually real, and uh, I can't wait to get them. But yeah, that, that's a pretty good pick. But there's nothing from the actual event to talk about, except for what happened afterward. So... Literally, every single brand present at 1027 got a reveal. G.I. Joe got two figure reveals, Star Wars got four figure reveals, Marvel, I think, got two figure reveals, Ghostbusters had an entire HasLab, Transformers got one thing and I think a box, Power Rangers got nothing, absolutely nothing, which is why it's so strange that Zayn went up on Hasbro Pulse on Wednesday night after the event. Now, I do want to make a slight correction. In my video, I said that he showed up under the new tab. Uh, I was wrong. I apologize on that front. It was actually in the back in stock tab, which is weirder because, you know, the term back in stock would have implied that, you know, it was in stock before, uh, but it wasn't. This was just, you know, here he is. So wasn't a pre-order, wasn't anything like that. It was just in stock under the back in stock tab uh, with no warning. It has now been, well, at the time of me recording this, two days since 1027, but the time that you're seeing this, it will have been nearly three days since 1027, and Hasbro has still yet to officially announce or tweet out or anything, anything about in space over whatsoever. Uh, when I did that episode, basically I thought he was going to go up for general public non-premium members at 8 p.m., and he never even made it. He was gone before 8 p.m. So I do, I, I mean, I know it's like, you know, people, I've apologized for this on Twitter, and people are like, oh, you don't need to apologize. But I, I genuinely feel bad for those who missed Zayn. Uh, I do apologize, like, for you. I just feel like that sucks, because, you know, how would we have ever known that he was going to go up on Hasbro Pulse? There was absolutely no warning about it beforehand. And so <laughs> I, would, I, I only knew because I got, like, eight or nine DMs about it on both of my accounts, which, I mean, thank you. I, I, the names escaped me. There were so many accounts that sent me the link to Zayn. Uh, so thank you all so much for making sure that I was staying on top of things. But like, I would have never thought to look there. You know, if you people just stumbled upon it, you know, because they said during the live stream that the reveals that they had were going to go up for premium members at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And they also said that select like back in stock things were going to go up at 8 p.m. or 7 p.m. Eastern time for premium members. Which, you know, they do that. So I, I, I never really think to check that tab because sometimes lightning is involved, sometimes it's not but I never would have expected Zane of all people to be there. So that's just insane. So to, in Zane, so to like, you know, just kind of reach or to break it down, wrap it up or whatever. I don't know if Zane is going to come back in stock on Hasbro Pulse. I have no idea when or if he's going to go up on the Walgreens website. History would say yes. At least if anything, we do have confirmation that he is a Walgreens exclusive thanks to that Pulse page. But I don't know when he's going to start showing up in stores, because I have never even thought he would have been in the U.S. by now. I guess it makes sense. He's been out in Canada for the majority of the month of October, so that's not that far from the U.S. If they can make it to Canada, they can probably make it to the U.S., maybe. I know there's more logistical differences than just that simple. But I, I don't know. It's just such a, um, it's just an unfortunate situation. And also, it was in stock. It was not a pre-order. I, don't, I haven't gotten a shipping email yet. I did get an order in for him, even though they would not take my card for some reason, and I had to use PayPal to do it. Uh, but they took the PayPal money, they took the charge. I've been charged for Zane for three days, uh, but no shipping email yet. Maybe by the time this episode is out, uh, just for uh, uh, to pull the curtain back a little bit, it's 5.34 p.m. right now on Friday night that I'm recording this, and you're seeing this like 18 hours from now. Um, so <laughs> maybe I will have had an email by that point, but I don't know just a weird situation, you know? And uh, I hope people can get their hands on, hands, hand, I was about to say hand, hand, oh my god. I was about to say hands on Zane, and I just said hands, like the underwear. So, get your hands. And also, I don't know how or if this will help, but here on the screen right now, here is the barcode for Zane, and here is the SKU number for Zane. So if you want to uh, either try to scan those out of Walgreens, or go to a Walgreens and have a representative or a salesperson try to help you, uh, you know, kind of scan it and see what's going on in their system or not, it might be able to be beneficial. 
Uh, I'm not sure. I know I, people always ask me for those numbers. I've never used those numbers personally in like toy hunting because I just do all my purchases online. I don't really go toy hunting. I don't even have a driver's license. So I, uh, you know, maybe those can be helpful for you. Maybe they won't be, but there they are. And that's going to do it for this week's episode of Lightning Storm. Thank you all for watching. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at LivingRangePR at LightningFigPR. Who knows what's happening next week? <laughs> you know, it could be another crazy week. It could be nothing. Lightning Collection does what it does. <laughs> and we're going to cover it here. So thank you all for watching, as always. And I'll see you all in Lightning Storm, the series where lightning always strikes twice.